Hey guys, Marshall Brian Murphy here, and welcome back to Minecraft Godlike Survival. And today we're going after the achievement Return to Sender. But first, I have to show you what I've been working on. Doom, doom, doom. I did it too many times. Ba da da da. Okay, well, that one's running away. But I have my villager house finally, and I have to take down this dirt path. But let me just show you around my little villager hut. Hopefully that guy will return to his bed, which is up here uh, shortly. So here's the field. I'm going to change this up because I don't really like how it's set up. But this is the inside. It's kind of bad. I don't really have any you know, idea what I wanted to do. I just wanted to make a cute little house. And it's cute from the outside. So, you know, it works. It works. But for now, I'm going to destroy this pillar. Only, oh crap, I'm just going to do it from the bottom because that will take too long. Mm -hmm. So today's episode, uh, we're going to go to the nether, but before... Before we go all the way to the nether, I also do want to show you guys what else I've done. So I've done this, I'll finish this pillar later, or this thing later. You can see those, I'll show you that in a minute. But I made a fully functional storage area. It's just storage and doghouse basically right now. I like the little ceiling I did there. Um, there's my nether portal over there that I built. Uh, I just, I like this building. It's not much, but it's something. And then, you know, see, I got crosses as windows. <clears throat> and then I got my food source here. I also got a new food source that I'm going to show you. That's a very efficient one. But first, here's the cave. Here's how it turns out. It's not finished yet because eventually this is going to be my house. But here are the little pillar things. I don't know what I'm doing with these. I just started building and didn't stop and yeah so i don't really know what i'm doing with them i don't have any plans i don't really have any idea what i'm doing with this base there's literally nothing in this there's nothing here but my dog my blue dog and lanterns i might move my bed and essential stuff here but there's not really a room it's more of just empty space Pretty sure I had this bridge in the last video, but uh, regardless, here's my new bridge. And then over here, yeah, I gotta take all this down. <clears throat> over here, sorry, I'm running, uh, I'm probably getting a little cold right now. But over here, we have a chicken farm that I looked up how to make. This is our redstone clock. But over here, we have oh, just work. chicken stuff. We got feathers. So basically what it is, is it dispenses the eggs into here, and then those chickens lay eggs. And that dispenses the eggs into here. And then as those chickens grow up, the lava ticks, and it kills off the chickens. Uh, it's pretty efficient. So I'm going to grab I'm gonna grab a stack of cooked chicken. And we are going to potentially just go straight to the nether. I cleaned up this because it was tired of this. I'm not going to bring Butterbean to the nether because that would be dumb. Um, there's nothing really else for me to show you. I'm just going to try and kill a ghast with my sword. Uh, do I want to leave anything behind? No, nah, I'm good. To the nether. Here we go. We're, we're going deeper. We're going into the nether. Goodbye, Butterbean. Goodbye, my chickens. Goodbye, everything else. Here we are. Oh, this is a pretty decent spawn. Why is there an Enderman in the nether? Do Endermen spawn in the nether? I did not think that was a thing that was a thing, but it apparently is. Also, I hear a gas. I'm going to try and kill it. Hey, 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 spit at me, 
Does that work the same way in this? I know Soul Sand does, and it's freaking annoying. I'm gonna kill you with my sword. Get over here. Oh, crap. That didn't work. Ow, how do I do this? How do I kill this thing? Did I? I did it! Oh, crap. <coughs> come on, shoot me. Oh, come on. Shoot me. Shoot me right now. Yes! You cannot tell me I didn't kill that thing. I'm gonna go down there and get the owl and get the nether star. What? Did I not get another star for that? I hate this place. I didn't even get another star. <coughs> but, <coughs> I did, in fact, get a crossbow. I hope sniper duel works with a crossbow. I didn't think about that. Regardless, I'm collecting this glove down real quick. Real quick. Uh, I didn't think this through. sand before I leave. Wow, I really, really cannot speak today. There's my portal. Let's get some more soul sand. Well, I didn't get a gas tier or a... Did I say nether star? You get the nether star from the wither, don't you? Yeah. But I still do need a gas tier, which would have been nice to have. It works. It works. I'm pretty sure there's an efficiency pick somewhere, so maybe. Maybe in the chest somewhere. Anyways, let's head back. Overworld time, maybe. Alright. Let us take a nap. Then we will wake and take our prize. There's also a horse that vaguely looks like Butterbean on my bridge. It's been there for a while. I haven't done anything with it. But I might catch it and name it Butterbean too. The Butterbeaning. Okay. <clears throat> so. <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we are going to collect Return to Sender because that'd be really cool. Now, I'm tempted to leave Overkill for last because I already have a trident. But also, that's really overpowered. Hmm. I don't know. But shortly after... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to do it. Fancily. I forgot about the fancies. I don't have enough space, so I'll put this in the freaking chest. Okay, now to pull 
everything out like a fancy little boy and I think that is how it was nice we got a crossbow I have never actually used a crossbow sweet I have used a crossbow I like that animation I wonder what it looks like in the first per or third person well it would look an awful lot better I like it. I like it. It's going to be a lot easier to beat up a skeleton with that. The sniper duel is next. I know. I don't know where my axe went. I think it broke. But anyways. So that's about it for today. But I don't really think I filmed enough. Hmm. Because I showed you around. I got my prize. I beat. That was a pretty easy task, to be honest. I don't know why I went to sleep. Here, let me just put away some stuff. Oh yeah, I got an emerald from trading. I'll just put that stuff away and oh, maybe I can switch out my boots. I really got depth strider protection for mending. What do these have? Protection for groundbreaking. Uh, I kind of want depth strider. I'm going to switch these out just because that one's breaking and I like that. Oh yeah, I need feather falling on these. I'm just going to collect the rest of this stuff here. Because I don't want to lose anything. Also guys, the end goal of this series is to basically just build up my house, build up my base, and kill the Ender Dragon. Let's test out this crossbow on a few. Oh! That was that was a lot more power than I originally intended. Oh, I just killed like six sheep at once. It doesn't cook any of the meat like my sword does, but that killed like six sheep at once. That's pretty dang useful. I'm gonna say that's pretty dang useful. Also, no, I'm not going to kill that horse. Should I? Should I kill this horse? What if I headshot? Will it kill it? It won't. I'm a horrible person. Should I put it out of its misery now? I, I don't think that worked, but now I'm sadder. Now I just kind of want to kill this horse because I'm kind of an awful person. Jeez, this horse is strong. That killed six sheep at once. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Jeez. I feel really bad. Kills sheep. I feel bad for the horse, not the sheep. I know what we can do. We can use some of this glowstone to, huh. I don't know, because do I want to put them over in my cave? Or do I, um, huh. I don't even know what I want to do with this glowstone. I just thought it'd be interesting to light up my cave, but then I remembered my cave is all lit up. I know what we'll do. We'll just break all these. Cause... But this is boring, so I'm going to cut this part out. Alright. So, I don't really know what I want to do with the rest of this series. Other than collect the rest of the tokens of the gods or whatever. And then defeat the Ender Dragon. Honestly, I've just been building my base off camera. Because it's a lot easier to work when you don't have to entertain. But, <clears throat> other than that, I don't really know what I should be doing. So, I guess I'll end this episode here? Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll end this episode here. Leave uh, suggestions for what you want me to name the villagers. Leave suggestions for what you want to see me do next episode. You know, all sorts of things. Because I do plan on making this series weekly. as long uh, uh, Along with Kajik, once that starts. But as of right now, Kajik is just not something I, I like. I'm working on it, but it's not something that's going to come out as easy as one, two, three. So I think I'm going to film like maybe four or five episodes and then put them out periodically. And then like while that while those are going up, I'm going to work on Kajik. But yeah, so Kajik is going to take a little bit longer, but hopefully and I'm saying this with the least amount of confidence, but still a little bit of confidence. Kajik will be out before Christmas. I'm going to go out on a limb, a short limb. Don't hold me to it because I'm bad with things. But I'm hoping to have Kajik out by Christmas. <clears throat> well, before Christmas, because I'd like it to be like a like a gift. <clears throat> like the whole series to be a, a holiday present. I, I've got a lot of big ambitions with Kajik. I don't know how many of those I'm going to pull off, but I do need to work on a few more things. I'm almost done with the city. Um, and then once that takes place, I'll be able to do it. It's, <clears throat> it's a lot more difficult to do a roleplay series than just a survival series, because basically in a survival series, I can do whatever I want. But in a roleplay series, I kind of have to have some sort of, like, script. You know, I kind of have to have the story played out. And I do, I do have the story played out. But I also want to have the character, my character, interact more with the the gems uh, this time around. And I'm, I'm struggling to know how I'm going to do that, but I, I'm working on it. I, I'm either going to use actual sound, like voices, or I'm going to use... Um, just text, like in the custom NPCs, but I feel like that last one would take a little bit less work than the voices, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to be working on that, as well as working on this series, and once, I'm sure by the time Kajik is out, this series will basically be over, and I'll be working on season two of this series, <clears throat> but if that's not the case, then I don't know, because I'm a little slow when it comes to things like this. I, I don't have a lot of excuses here, but yeah, I'm kind of slow when it comes to YouTube. So bear with me. Kajik will be done as soon as it's done, basically. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. I can't wait to give you guys that. So um, without further ado, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!